Today I just wanted to talk about like what's new with me, what's going on in my life. You may or may not know I graduated university last December, but I finished classes and my graduation's in like May. Uh, so I'm just kind of like in this weird limbo zone where I am done school, I'm free to go do whatever I want, but it's like, I haven't graduated yet. Yeah, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna be done school. Then my, like, my life will just change and I'll move on to the next stage in my life and my career and stuff. Um, it's been three months, and turns out that doesn't just happen. You need to do that. Like, in December, my parents were like, oh, we're gonna go visit Sonia in March, do you wanna come with us? And I was like, I don't know where I'll be working in March. Like, what's the point of booking it off at my current job? Because I won't even be there anymore. And I can't get a new job and be like, I need a week off in two days. But no, that didn't happen. I'm just still at my job because I didn't actually apply for any jobs. I'll admit for the first, like, two months I was kind of not doing anything about it. I was just like, oh, I'm just relaxing now. I'm just doing whatever I want. So I was just, like, not thinking about it at all. And then last couple weeks, I was like, I guess I should, like, figure out what I want to do next. Um, I had a brief night or two where I discovered farming internships and I was like goodbye my life I'm moving to Salt Spring Island to grow mushrooms for eight months and I was like this is great I found something that I want to do I'm excited for it I just gotta apply and there's so many positions surely I'll get one this will be good and then I was like um how how am I gonna do that uh I'm gonna miss my friends in Vancouver and also my boyfriend um, I own so much junk here, I can't bring it with me to a farm, um, where am I gonna put it for eight months while I'm there? Just not super realistic, like, I could do that, but like, it was something, and I was excited for it, but it was not the most realistic or doable thing. Uh, but that was the first stage in figuring out what on earth I want to do next. But right now, also still not a career move, but there's this this one job, this one job that I want. Um, it's like a nature house in Victoria, and you just get to like work at the nature house for four months in the summer. And I was like, I love nature houses, that sounds great. Once again, the problem of what do you do with all your stuff and your apartment when you're going somewhere for four months and then probably coming back. Like, I guess I'm not at a stage where I'm ready to like pick up and move somewhere, especially because Adrian is still here and he's like still in school and stuff, and I don't want to move away from it. But that's like a nice little short term thing that I could do, and I haven't lived in the same city as Mia for like five years, so that would be really nice just have a summer together where we can actually hang out and like live together. So right now that's like what I'm excited about. It's not a career, but it's something. But yeah, I finally started like doing my resume and writing a cover letter for the first time in my life. Actually, I've never I've never had a job interview. Like this job I'm in right now, I literally gave them my resume and they were like, "Cool, come in on Tuesday." And everything else I ever had was like babysitting and stuff. That's like not a real job. Uh, so I'm scared for job interviews because I'm pretty sure I'm terrible at them. I might start looking at like other jobs, summer jobs in Victoria, but the main problem is I don't know how to find them. I don't know what I'm looking for until I see it and I'm like, oh, that sounds good. So yeah, that's where I'm at like in my career, like what I'm doing, uh, but also all that like thinking about how do I move, what do I do, got me thinking about home and like making your home. I need water. Because when I moved here like five years ago, I was like, oh, I'm just coming here for school. Who knows what I'll do after that, I'll probably go back to the island. But this is a point where it's like, I'm not here for school anymore. I live here, this is where my home is, and it's very hard to think about leaving this home I've been making over the last five years. I guess the main thing is meeting Adrian, like, I made him a very important part of my home, so I can't just, like, go anywhere because I need to be with him. I know I'd like to live in Victoria, like, one day, I, that's an, just an idea in my head, I would like to settle down near Victoria, maybe, but I'm not ready to settle down yet, so it's like, oh, what am I doing? My throat feels so bad. Oh yeah, and then like this physical home, like I always complain about this basement and stuff, but I've lived here for four years and it's like sad, scary to think about 
living somewhere else, having to find somewhere else to live. Just like, yeah, saying goodbye to this home, but also like this, <coughs> this neighborhood that I've been like integrating myself into for four years. And I feel like I'm constantly like, I had my job and I get to know everyone who shops there. I get to know everyone who's walking down the street. I say hi. I really like living in this neighborhood. So it feels like, ah, what if I left here? And then I realized it's just, it's so nice here and I've made myself so comfortable here. It's so hard to like decide to leave. Another thing is my friends, obviously. I have like such a routine and a home with like Natanya I live with and Angie who lives so close by and can just like come over every evening. And even Bailey, she lives farther away, but like when she works nearby, she'll stay at our house for the night and stuff. Like it's such a routine and a, like a place and person specific life that is just so scary to leave. Oh, we watched Brooklyn the other night and and she was like screaming at us to pay attention because we were having too much fun interacting with the movie, not just watching it. Um, but it's all about like moving somewhere and then going back home and you're like, mm, where is home? What is my home? Um, and she was like, that's us. That's all of us. So we have our home that we're from and now we're all here. And this is our new home. And I was like, I could mention that in a video about home and moving and your life. <coughs> I honestly don't know what's wrong with my head. Anyway, I don't have any conclusions or any, like, advice or anything. That's just what's going on with me. I am so happy with where I am now, but also I don't want to be where I am now. A weird but not terrible situation that I'm in. Anyway, yeah, I guess I was thinking of my life just in, like, career terms. Being like, oh, I'm, I'm stuck at this bad job and I'm so lazy, I'm not leaving it. But the part of the reason I'm not leaving it is because of all the other nice things in my life. And it's important to think about all those too when you're like, like assessing your life and whether you're like successful or not. Or I'm holding out for something that I'd like to do rather than just the first like better paying job or better looking job, which I think is a good and worthwhile thing to do. Yeah. I don't know if anyone follows me is at all in this stage of their life, but that's what's happening with me. And I'm so glad I have such good friends and stuff that I know even if I've moved away, like, we're very good about going to visit each other and stuff, so they definitely wouldn't be, like, gone out of my life. It's just very different to go from seeing someone four nights a week to, like, one weekend a month or something gotta happen eventually and someone's gotta be the first one to like move away so I'm gonna stop because I keep coughing so bad <coughs> I can't talk for the rest of the day probably but um thank you for listening to me and being there and stuff